lucky we made it so here we are at today's campground um it's not your traditional ordinary campground that's for sure welcome back to the channel guys i hope you are mega excited for today's video this video came to me in a couple different ways, one of which my buddy Flair has filmed a video very similar to this. If you haven't seen it, be sure to check the link down below. I'm gonna be doing something just a little bit different and I'm doing this not necessarily for a video idea, but because I literally have no other option. I'm on this big trip throughout New England doing a lot of fishing, a lot of camping, a lot of traveling. And uh, I've realized that tonight I can't find any place to sleep out of my car. The whole idea behind this trip is to be self-sufficient and to not rely on hotels or like uh, fancy lodges to stay at. I don't know, this is gonna be a very, very interesting video. Stick with us, stay tuned and uh, enjoy. Let's get to camping. All right, so instead of a tent, I'm gonna be sleeping out of my car, which is a, uh, it's a Lexus, it's a Lexus SUV. There actually is no rear seat in this vehicle, which means I've got a whole, here I'll show you. I've got a whole space to kind of sleep out of. Right now it's it's a, a huge mess, but in a little bit I'm gonna rearrange this so I have a sleeping platform so that uh, Lucky and I aren't tired for tomorrow's fishing mission. Also I have a little freezer back here, so that way I can uh, I can keep my food cold. Unfortunately don't have any food. I have some eggs left over um, in this freezer, but luckily we're <laughs> stone throw away from a supermarket, so I'm gonna hop in there real quick grab some some meat, maybe some sides or something like that, bring it back here, cook it out in the parking lot and uh, kind of get settled down as this will be our home for tonight. All right, here we go, meat. Oh yeah, ribeye, strip, sirloin. That strip looks really good. Alrighty, and we are set. I got some food for tonight. I'm not gonna go to bed empty stomach. I'm gonna go back to my uh, campsite, my car, <laughs> and get all situated and start cooking this food. Before I can even think about eating, I gotta feed the most important part. Need we catch some fish? Yep. <laughs> By the way, if you guys wanna see the first part of today's video where we drive all the way to New Hampshire, catch some fish, be sure to also check the link in the description below. But for now, let's focus on the camping. Let's start cooking. Let's get her fed first. Let's set up camp. <laughs> this bag of food is the size of you. While she's eating her meal, I'm gonna start prepping my meal right now. This is what we got going on. I figured we get a little bit bougie since we're, you know, doing this in a Walmart parking lot. So I got, what did I get? I got New York strip steak, some rosemary, and some butter. Simple and easy. And then for dessert, we've got a payday. Lucky, this is not for you. What are you doing? Now the cool thing about today's uh, parking lot cooking session is I won't need a campfire because I've got this little guy right here. This is a propane stove. It's a two burner, a double burner. Let's see, I got some seasonings in here, some salt, some pepper. Yeah, look how convenient this is. I got my cooking station, I got my dog, I got my freezer, and we're pretty much set. Efficient yet very simple. I'm gonna take one of these one pound propane tanks and hook it up to this burner so we can start cooking. How do I do this? Actually, admittedly, the first time I've ever used this specific one. I've used these types before, but not this exact one. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, I think that's good. This thing and then, yeah. Yeah, that, that looks like it makes sense. Let's light this puppy up. Oh, she's ready to go. Look at that, she's heating up nice and smoothly. All right, so I just seasoned the meat and some garlic, some salt, uh, some Texas beef uh, seasoning, which is uh, Cosmo seasoning. The meat is fully seasoned. Let's get this guy in the pan. I am thoroughly stoked. Actually, I need to put a little bit of butter in the pan before I throw that. Oh, 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 there we go. All right, steak's going in. Big moment, big moment. Just look at that. I wish you guys could smell this because it smells freaking amazing. We're gonna let this cook for quite a bit. That's a chunk of meat, so it's gonna take a second for this thing to fully cook. Thus far, no one's come out and said anything to us. Basically, no one cares. I'm in the middle of like the empty spot in the parking lot too, so no one's even asked any questions. Here I am literally cooking a steak out of the back of my truck with a wiener dog 
in a boat attached to my car. <laughs> I'm cool with it. I'm glad that no one cares. Let's uh, let's keep cranking on this steak and I'll get back to you guys here in a second. This puppy first. Let's see how it looks on. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So damn amazing. I'm gonna put some more butter in there and I'm actually gonna baste it. Kind of make sure it stays uh, nice and moist, nice and succulent. I am so stoked. <laughs> oh yeah, this is gonna be tasty. Here we go. Kind of hard to baste with one hand and hold the camera, but you get the idea. Scooping that butter, putting it right on top. And there is the finished product. I am so hungry. I, I'm sorry. I can't wait any longer. I need to eat this really badly. So if you'll excuse me, I'm going to take a break from talking, which I'm sure you'd love anyway, and I'm going to chow in to the steak. The finished product, nice piece of sirloin. Quite frankly, I've I've never cooked steak in a parking lot before, so this is a first for me, believe it or not. Usually I like my steak medium rare, um, but I have no idea. This is an absolute crapshoot, so we shall see. Fingers crossed that it's at the very least not well done. I'd call that medium going on to well done. <laughs> It tastes amazing though. I can't complain, this is delicious. Believe this or not, but I've been in the middle of the parking lot, cooking steaks, uh, walking my dog, doing stuff with my boat, and no one has said a word. I think I've been in this very spot for maybe two and a half hours now. I'm thinking that will all change once this Walmart starts to close. This is not a 24 hour Walmart, it closes at 12 a.m. So we are counting down to that point in time. Part of me thinks that these Walmart employees won't say anything because they just don't care. They just want to go home, it's late at night. But then another part of me also thinks that if there's someone here really taking their job seriously, they will boot me out of here, maybe call the cops, something like that. So I don't know, it's kind of a roll the dice crapshoot situation. Regardless, we're gonna try it out. Well. I'm not gonna get much sleep tonight if that keeps going on. Is this, will this work? This might work. Oh yeah, I think this will work. Uh, get over here. Hang on, give me a second. Right now I'm working on a sleeping situation. Now this is kind of unique because uh, normally I'd have kind of like a, a sleeping platform right here, but I don't. So I'm having to get sort of creative. See, this truck is plenty big enough to sleep in. And that's one of the reasons why I want to get rid of both of the seats, the rear and the third row. So normally there's like this piece that goes and connects from that like corner to out here, but I don't have that piece, so I'm using all of my junk right now to extend for sleeping purposes. But it doesn't look bad. It's slightly uneven, but we'll have to make do with it. This is my mattress. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this little system right here is actually perfect. It's makeshift, it's a little janky, but I think it'll do. I'm using my drawer system as one half of the bed, and the second half, I'm just using all the junk <laughs> that I have in my truck. So I've got that under there to kind of level with the drawers, and then above that, I've got uh, two foam pads, and this blow up pad. That's one thing I suggest if you guys ever do any like legit camping trips or if you wanna sleep out of your truck, always get those foam pads. Those things make like a night and day difference. Like you will get such a good rest with those pads. So yeah, we're triple padded up. I'm sure it's good. Actually, you know what? Let's try it out right now. I'm curious. Let's hop in. Here's a first impression of the makeshift bed for our Walmart video. Oh wow, this is, are you kidding me? This is actually functional. This will do. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a little cramped with, you know, this thing, of course, but that's no biggie. I mean, beggars can't be choosers. We're sleeping in a parking lot tonight, so I can't, uh, I can't ask for too much more. This is minty. Okay, it's getting pretty late. It is 12 minutes until closing. Like I've said, 
prior. No one has come out and said anything. There's still a ton of cars here. Uh, I'm starting to see a lot of cars leave at this point. I'm pretty much the only one in this parking lot. There's still some cars over there. But for the most part, yeah, I'm about to be the only car <laughs> in the walmart lot the system's nice it's a little bit cramped back here i'm not gonna lie i'm six one so uh trying to find space for for someone my height is definitely not easy lucky for sure has the advantage seeing as she only weighs 10 pounds this is plenty of room for her i would call this cozy and somewhat practical we fish good in the morning ate good in the evening and then hopefully we will sleep good at night i'm gonna turn the camera off for now i'll turn it back on if anything eventful happens hopefully nothing eventful happens and i will catch you guys in the morning if again nothing eventful happens all right good night Holy moly, I cannot believe I'm saying this, but I actually slept amazing. How did you sleep, Lucky? Did you get some Z's? Did you get some rest? Well, it is pretty cramped back here. It is actually very comfortable. I didn't think that it would work, but it actually worked. I slept like a dream. I think I might've woken up like maybe once or twice. I kept having dreams that people were coming up to my car and knocking on my window and that would like wake me up. As far as I know, nobody tried to kick me out of this Walmart parking lot last night. Actually right around 12. Oh Jesus, I just broke something. Actually right around 12, a semi truck pulled up just across the way. It seems like they are still here. So I wasn't the only one that spent the night in this parking lot, but that's cool. So I guess it's been officially determined you can fall asleep in a Walmart parking lot. One thing, one addition that I failed to mention last night that I would highly recommend if you do any sort of automobile camping. If you plan on doing some camping in your car, whether it be in Walmart or like at an actual campsite, you 155,000% need one of these. Listen to this. That is glorious. Even though it got down to like high 50s last night, uh, it still got really hot in this car. So I used this uh, DeWalt fan, which runs, uh, I believe, a 20 volt battery to kind of circulate the air in here because it gets kind of stale and it got pretty hot. And the neat thing is, is with these bigger batteries, this thing will run all night and all day, like medium setting. And it legitimately lasted all night. Lucky, lucky. Do you want the kibble? Lucky, you want some kibble? <laughs> you're on top of me. I can't go anywhere if you're on top of me. If you want the kibble, you're gonna need to get off of me. <laughs> Come on, Lucky, get off, get off of me. Oh my God, getting out's the hard part. Oh man, okay. Getting out of the car. Oh, I woke up this morning with nips swanging in the Walmart parking lot. <laughs> this is so weird. Lucky, you're so happy. Lucky, you're so happy. Probably put your shirt on, huh? Can't go shirtless all day. That would be weird. Hi, Wiener. Hi, good morning. <laughs> Happy Wiener. What do we have here? Oh, that is breakfast. Seeing as we uh, ate some steak from Walmart, I figured I'd stop on in again and grab some eggs. So that's what I'm gonna eat. I'm just gonna have some eggs, some cheese, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Simple, easy. Uh, while I'm cooking up the eggs, I'm also dumping some footage. This is the nice part about living on the road is it's just, you've got nowhere to be. It's like, I can edit here, I can cook here, I can watch the pup over there. It's honestly pretty ideal. While it may not seem comfortable on the surface, it's actually a lot of fun. I've got literally everything I need right here. That is delicious. I'm gonna finish up this egg skillet right now. I'm gonna bid farewell to you guys. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Living out of your car or even camping isn't necessarily as bad as it may seem. Point proven today, we slept and camped in pretty unideal conditions. Yes, it's not beautiful. Yes, obviously, it's not technically camping, but it works. And if you're in a pickle, if you're in a bind, you can make it happen. I wouldn't recommend sleeping in a Walmart parking lot, but as you saw today, 
it does work. Oh my God, sorry. I gotta, I gotta take another bite of these eggs. This is so good. And I guess the most important thing is go out there and explore. You don't need a big rig like this. You don't need the high-tech equipment. Honestly, what I have here is fairly minimalistic compared to what a lot of guys have on their vehicle builds, but this is simple. Get a cooler, get like a propane stove, get your wiener dog, get your Labrador, hit the road running and make some memories. Whether it be in a pavement parking lot or up in the woods, whichever it may be, it's up to you. If you guys wanna see more stuff like this where we do some camping post fishing trip, let me know in the comment section below. I've got some cool ideas as to where we can uh, make camp and uh, post up for the night later on down the road. I'm here in New England for about a month exploring, fishing, traveling, you name it. So there's a lot of opportunities to film some cool videos. I'm peacing out, signing out. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always folks, keep camping at Walmart. Never stop.